We are here in the heart of the French Alps to spend 24 hours with the French Army's Chasseur Alpin. This is a unit of elite infantry who's trained specifically for combat at high altitudes and in wintry conditions. What does it take to survive in the mountains? Up here, breathing is hard. Walking is hard. Military operations are almost impossible. Unless you're the French Army's elite mountain troops, the Chasseurs Alpins. That's Alpine Hunters in English. For these soldiers, the steep crags of the French Alps are home. To find out how they not only survive, but thrive in these conditions, I join them in the field for 24 hours. I thought I was ready, but I had no idea. So I was just told by our guide that the section we're on now is 300 meters, and I said, that's not too bad. And then he indicated that it was 300 meters straight up, so... Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, the platoon uh, leader uh... Benoît, Lieutenant Benoît. Je m'appelle Robert, je suis de l'OTAN. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Welcome. Thanks, François. Just setting up igloo. What they're doing right now is digging a trench, and we're going to sleep in that trench, which seems a little counterintuitive because the snow is cold. If you dig a deep trench in the snow, and you dig little cubby holes in that, turns out you will be quite warm at night because snow is a great insulator. It traps heat. It's going to be about minus 20 up here at night, but inside those cubby holes, it's going to be a level zero degrees. From this corridor, we're going to dig several foxholes as rooms, basically. But probably here will be between two and three people for each room. How's Rob feeling so far? Pretty good. Just win sold out the army detail. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Can you tell us what these guys are doing? So we are sending them snow that we are digging so that they make the the roof. Actually it will be the roof of your room. So they make it strong with their weight. So they make it stronger. We just spent the past four hours digging out our igloo and it's just ridiculously hard work because all that snow that you pack down is incredibly hard to just punch into. I'm looking forward to tucking into some chow and sleeping in the Hotel Chaussier. Delicieuse purée de pommes de terre Ooh. et fromage à base de lait de vache. C'est très delicious. <laughs> There's pâté in the French MRE. Salted biscuits, and then a lot of coffee. Ragged is a good term to qualify French army in general, especially the, the mountain troops, the Chasseurs Alpins. As you see here, we are facing cold. We are alone, digging yeah. holes. And I think, yeah, we need to be very resilient and rugged. You, of course, you, you have fear, but you try to master it. Cozied up inside the igloo. Got the little candle here. Thought it was for ambiance, but I suspect it might be to detect carbon monoxide poisoning. C'est tout. Bonne nuit. Morning, Rob. Morning. Bonjour tout le monde. Good morning, everybody. May I recommend sleeping in an igloo because I feel like a new man. With caffeine in my bloodstream, I was ready to join the chasseur for a day of tactical maneuvers and target practice. But first, I visited a remote radio relay to see how the chasseur communicate in the difficult mountain terrain. 
One of the most important things in military operations isn't just moving and shooting, it's communicating. Therefore, if you really want to be able to communicate well, you need to be able to get the strongest signal to the highest place. And this is an area where the Chasseurs al Pen are uniquely excellent because they are very good at reaching high places. Alors les gros problèmes de communication euh, sur la montagne en fait ça va être les masques, donc tout ce qui est roches, arbres, forêts. Et c'est pour ça qu'on a besoin d'aller le plus haut possible pour pouvoir communiquer avec les unités d'en bas. Gabriel, si papa unité contrôle radio, parlez. I think the first main difficulty is the terrain. You, you can't um, conceal yourself very easily, a lot of elevation. It takes a lot of time to be good in that type of terrain, that's why we train. We're going to be following uh, Lieutenant Benoit. They're just firing blanks, but everything they're doing right now is exactly as they would do it in an actual uh, combat situation. Right now, they're switching out from skis to snowshoes. Uh, they're not as fast as skis, but you know, you can move in more than one direction, which is good when you're in combat. This is where you see the Chasseur au Pen really come into their element because fighting in the snow is extremely difficult. And if you haven't trained for it, Oh, here we go. Let's move. That happened faster than I could keep track of. Uh, those guys charged down that mountain on snowshoes so quickly, and I had a hard enough time staying on my feet. I think that's part of the idea, right? The Chasseur au Pen leverage their skills in mountain fighting to quickly overwhelm the enemy on difficult terrain. I think the specificity of, uh, of the Chasseur au Pen is to fight and evolve in a particular environment. I think it's a real good asset for France and uh, of course for NATO. We intervened in uh, Kosovo, Afghanistan where elevation is high, so we are specialized in that type of terrain and uh, we are maintaining those assets for France and for the coalition. This is a kind of environment that does not take all comers. If you're not prepared, the mountains are going to chew you up and spit you out. It took getting up to the top of the mountain with them to really understand that. And we've seen over the past 24 hours exactly how France's elite mountain infantry prepare for this kind of environment and ensure that, should the time come, they'll be ready. <laughs> 